Hello, YouTubers. Realtor Mike Thomas here, and we are going to talk about what happened in 2022 in Southeast Florida, um, going all the way from Miami, all the way up to uh, Port St. Lucie County, which is Vero Beach, see what the market did and what happened. So everybody's out there telling us, oh my God, um, the real estate market is in a recession um, it's all going to fall apart. We're all going to go to hell in a handbasket. And I'm looking at these numbers and I'm going, okay. So in 2022, the average sale price of a single family home was $550,000. Last year, it was only 495000 right here, which means that we went up 11.1% um, uh, over last year. And yeah, it took twice as long to sell the house and the inventory was different. But nevertheless, uh, what we're concerned about is what are home prices like? Are they going up? Are they going down? Is it going to be more expensive to buy a home next year or the year after that? And we're going to take a look at that. This is for Miami-Dade County. I don't know why I'm starting there first. But anyway, for the townhouse and condo market, um, we are up as well, 18.7%. Medium sale price of a townhouse or condo went from uh, 327500 to 333659 Kind of an odd number. Let's just say 390 ish right under 390 And yes, it's taking a lot longer to sell. However, the prices are up there and sellers are willing to wait. Um, so this is from January 1st until December 31st of 2022 and 2021. So what does that tell us? That real estate prices are going up. And not just a little bit, they're going up nicely. 18.7% um, and 11.1% in single family homes. So let's go back to Broward County. So what did what happened in Broward County? Well, in Broward County, uh, the medium sale price of a single family home year end is 550000 which is $70,000 more than what it was uh, in 2021, the average price, which is up 17%. And in single family homes, townhouse and condominiums, uh, went from 2175 to 250 up 14, almost 15% here. This is the year-end report um, that we get from the Realtors Association, and they accumulate all these numbers and tell us uh, how much longer it took to sell, and things are back to normal now. Um, the average time on a market is generally three months. So when somebody comes to a realtor and says, sell my house under normal conditions, we're normally talking about three months, okay? So... That is what we are looking at here for Broward County. Let's take a look at Palm Beach County. Palm Beach County, medium sales price up 20.2%. Now with all the doom and gloom people out there telling us the real estate market is collapsing, you know, it's over, um, it went up 20.2%. And they say this every single year, in fact, I would love to take a moment at the end of this video and take a look and show you how many times and how many years back I can go of people telling us that we're going to hit a recession and the real estate market and the housing market's going to collapse and crash. Is it going to crash? No, not with these indicators. The indicators show us that the real estate market is going up for single family homes and townhouse and condominiums right here. Uh, in Palm Beach County, 20.8% uh, over last year. So between 2021 and 2022, we are doing very well. Is it taking a little longer to sell? Yes, but that is normal numbers, normal to be expected. Um, let's take a look at, we're looking at Martin County here. And last year over this year, Martin County up 17.8%, medium sale price of a home. Uh, went from four hundred and almost four hundred and eighty thousand to five sixty five, 
uh, for town for single family homes, townhouses, and condominiums went up a whopping 30.5 percent over last year. So if you bought in 2021, you were able to buy a home for two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, and uh, 2022 that same home cost you two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So that's why it's very important to buy now. Um, if you're going to wait until the real estate market prices fall, you may be waiting a very, very long time because real estate prices come down gradually. They don't fall crazy overnight. And I'm going to show you that we've already had a dramatic drop in real estate prices um, in the second part of this video. Let me just go through Port St. Lucie County real quick first. Uh, again, this is the year end report. Uh, for the year 2022 over 2021, single family homes up 23.6% over last year. So in 2021, it went from 307,500 to 380,000. Yes, it's taking three times as long to sell, but that's normal times. Three months time is a normal time to sell a house. If you're looking to sell your home in the summertime, you may want to put it up three months before you plan on moving out of it. Townhouses and condominiums, medium sale price, again, 19.1% up over last year, 2021, where the prices were $235,000, are now $280,000, and yes, taking a little longer to sell. So that is our snapshot report for uh, Southeast Florida. Let me just show you a couple of other things here. Um, and we are looking at uh -huh -huh, Florida as a whole, the entire state of Florida. This is what happened 20, December 2020. And here we are going up, 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 up. And here's our correction. From about July 2020, to to December, we had a correction, a fall in prices, and the prices have already fallen. And so, if you're looking for the real estate prices to fall, that's already happened. If you want, we'll check a few other cities. Um, let's check uh, Palm Beach County. Let's check a couple of other counties. Counties give us better. Um, <clears throat> Um, counties give us a better idea. Here's Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach County. And let's apply that, single family homes. And here we go. So in December 2020, it went up, went up, went up, went up, went up. Here we are in July again, and there's the drop. And there's your correction. So the market has already corrected itself. And I'll prove that to you once again. Let's take a look at the Tampa St. Pete Clearwater area right over here. And let's take a look again. Okay, here we are going up and up and up. Oops. And again, July right here starts to fall. And there it is. So that is your correction. Uh, let's take a look at other places. Let's take a look at uh, the Naples area. Naples, Marco Island area. And then we'll take a look at Fort Myers and Orlando. So here we are going up, 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 up. May, actually in May it started already. July was already too late, came down, went back up again and came back down again. During this time, we have a lot of seasonal buyers coming in from up north, and therefore September, October, November, uh, the pre-sale, the pre-season buyers did come in and buy in that area. Let's check out Fort Myers. Uh, here we go, Cape Coral, Fort Myers area. We'll apply that here. And we are going up, 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 up until we hit about June. And there's your correction right there. So we had a good 20% correction 
Looks like everywhere throughout the state. Let's take a look at the Orlando area. All right, Arlo Orlando, Kissimmee, Sanford area. How did they do? The same. So here we are going back up. Um, it stayed actually pretty much even. And the reason for that is Walt Disney World. There's a major attraction there. It's going to attract people from all over the world, from buyers from all over the world. So let's take a look at Jackson, Jacksonville, Jacksonville area, Jacksonville, St. Augustine area. Here we are. Let's take a look what happened. Again, goes up and up and up and up right here. And there's your correction. Went from about 405,000 down to 382,000, which is about uh, $30,000 or so decrease. Um, so that's what happened. If you want, let's check Gainesville real quick. Are we missing any area? The, Gain the Gainesville metro area here. Let's take a look. Again, the same thing happened. Kind of choppy. But here we are in June. After June, it starts dropping. November, December, it's starting to recover. So the correction looks like has already happened. One other thing I'd like to show you is this. Um, that really irks me. Every time I look at it, I, I just... Really don't understand why. Let's go YouTube. And let's do a search on YouTube. And we're going to say real estate. Yeah, so we don't need that. We're on YouTube now. And we're going to say recession. Let's start 2018. Uh, that's what, five years ago? Let's go back five years. I mean, I can go back even further, but I want you to do the research. And here we are. Are we heading for a recession? Oh, stock market's going to wipe us out. Here's another doom and gloom. Um, it's going to be the worst recession ever. Even Warren Buffett explains that it's going to be another crisis like 2008, housing bubble and Great Depression coming. Blah, 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 blah. And this was in 2018. So let's go back to 2019. And here we are. Uh, even Fox News, uh, CNBC, um, some of the big, you know, news companies out there are reporting a recession in 2019. You know, recession, recession, recession. Anticipating the recession, the profit, recession. There we go again. Report, nearly half of the C CFOs are expecting a recession in 2019. What happened in 2019? No recession. Let's go to 2022 or 2020. Um, there it is. Recession coming February 2020. Um, another recession investing, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's predicting a recession. Will a, re will a recession eventually come? Maybe. And if it does, then, of course, these people are going to say, see, I told you I was right. Yeah, it doesn't make it that you're a predictor of a recession if you say it every single year until one comes. You know, it reminds me of the great uh, Indian rain dance. The Native American Indians used to do a rain dance that was 100% successful. And the reason it was 100% successful is because they didn't stop dancing until it rained. And so if you say that there's going to be a recession coming every single year, then the year it comes, you're going to tell everybody you were so right. But that does not make you a predictor because that's what you've been saying for years. Here it says, why a recession is to be unlikely, oh, wow, unlikely, Wall Street Journal. 
Uh, what's coming is the worst recession ever. Elon Musk, last warning. Uh, 2022. Oh, last week. We're heading for a recession. Oh, my God. Here's another recession coming. 2021, 2022. Let's go to 2022. So, just as a point I'm trying to make is that everybody is crying recession, 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 where I don't believe that there is one coming. I know that the feds raise their interest rates, and I understand all of that, and they did it to keep the housing market from continuing to go into an upward spiral like this, keeping home prices low for you. You may pay a little bit more in interest, but you should be thanking the Federal Reserve for raising the interest rate because a normal interest rate for houses is about 8%. 6% is low, 10% is high. Anything below 6% is what I call a gift from God. So um, I know that we were spoiled uh, when we had 3% interest rates, but 3% interest rates, the Federal Reserve was actually lending money to banks at 0% interest. And I don't know how long they can do that before they too have to, I guess, return a profit or whatever they do. I don't know. I'm not an economist, but I can tell you this. Looking at these numbers, I don't see a likelihood of a recession coming in. And um, who knows what will happen in 2023. I do not have a crystal ball. And anybody that can tell you that they can predict the future, um, <laughs> may have powers that I don't know about. Anyway, that's my uh, take on the year in report. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you watch all my videos because there's really some good stuff in those videos uh, about how to make a lot of money in real estate. So please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give us a like if you think that this was helpful for you. Until the next time, I'm Mike Thomas realtor for Palm Beach County, Florida.